then sink three, two, one, and clap. While okay. it's idling really low, that'll be the good time to do it. Sink two, three, one. Two, three, one. <laughs> Think three, two, one. <laughs> la cucharacha, la cucharacha, la 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 la. Oh well, <laughs> as long as it does the job. James Jabara Airport. Automated weather observation 1530 Zulu. Wind 240 at 05. Visibility missing. Sky condition clear. Temperature 13 Celsius. Dew point 01 Celsius. Altimeter 2 Niner Niner Niner. Remarks. Density altitude 1500. How long now has it uh, been that you've had your new glasses? Well, it has been since the end of July. Oh, July, August, September. It's October now. Wow. Three months. Is that the longest? Two, you've been? two and a half. Is that the longest you've been able to? I've gone about six months. With okay, a, all right. So the jury's months. still out on whether or not you're going to break these or not, right? It is still out. Okay. There is one thing I need to do. They seem to slide a little bit. I need to get them adjusted probably for my face. All right, but, bird. I know. Little kill deer. Jabara traffic. Skyhawk 5087 Kilo. Taking off 18 Jabara departing to the north. There's that one in the pattern. He yeah, I'm just off. watching the one over here by the Skyhawk. Okay, he's already far ahead of him, so we're good. Yeah, he'll get taken. He'll, oh, yeah. He'll yeah, take off he's just now turning base. Yeah. Yeah, look, see, we even got him. Oh, yeah. For giggles and grins, I'll put Poria's stuff in here. Skyhawk 0 short final, runway 18, full stop, Jabara. Run ups. All right, fuel on bow, cow flaps open, trim set. Jabara traffic, Skyhawk 091, clear runway 18, Jabara. I like it when they tell me they're clear. All right, 10 degrees of flaps. Ending on taxis off. All right, little brake check there. I'm gonna get one. There you go. Right crosswind. Jabar traffic, Skyline 80 Pup Echo, taking off runway 18, departing to the north, Jabar. All right, 10 down, 10 down. It's looking good, full rich. Bill's on the floor. 18, and on the paint. Crosswind correction. It's in the green. Air speed's alive. And rotate. Positive rate. Flaps up. Traffic Skyline 80 Papico turning right crosswind 1 8 Jabar. Jabar traffic Skyline 80 Papa Echo turning right downwind 1 8 Jabar. Jabar traffic Skyline 80 Papa Echo departing the area to the northeast Jabar. I'll fly high or low today. Oh, it's pretty smooth. We could just leave it at like 3,500 if you yeah, want. Yeah, it seems like it. Oh. 
Wow, we haven't had this smooth air in a long time. I know it. Fire traffic, Golden Eagle 421, X-ray, departing 1-8, Jamar. feel like we're awful low, but... <laughs> I know. We're going to go kind of close to the tall grass prairie area. Yeah, yeah that's up here. Tall grass is an uh, area where a lot of the buffalo yeah. roam. Oh, we got a little bit of a halo going on down here below. It's a uh, Brocken specter. Oh, let me move your finger. Right off our strut on the ground. Oh, I can't see it. Yeah, uh, it, well, you can't make it out real well because it's on the ground. If it's up, if it's something white or something real light, it'll show up good. Rock Inspector is kind of a halo effect when the sun comes down and kind of lightens it up, and is just a pretty ring around it. Here, let me see your camera. Put it on video. I don't know how well it's going to show up. I was doing instrument training. Every time we got up above the clouds. Yeah, you can see it in yeah. the clouds. Yeah, uh, it was really nice. Maybe I'll take one of a previous one we got just a bit to see what it looks like. And they're really pretty. What little town is this? I don't know. Eldorado Lake is right over there. Yeah. This looks like the way we've gone up to K-State before, isn't it? Oh, when we, yeah. When we go the back roads? Oh, yeah, it is. That may be like Burns or one of those little towns. Yeah. Here, zoom in. Here, see. Yeah, that's Burns. That's Burns. Yep, you nailed it, baby. That's why you the navigator. That was that place that had that real pretty... Uh, barn you took a picture of that yeah. one time, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll see if we can't dig that up and kind of see, but that's Burns, Kansas, a little small. Yeah, that's the little road right here off my left that uh, won't show up on that GoPro, but uh, yeah, we've made that trip many a time. Oh, gosh, up to K-State. I think, well, Allison probably made it a few more times than us, but yeah, yeah our daughter was in... Uh, at K-State, so yeah. five years. Yeah, as many of you know, we've flown over the Andover Middle School and High School, and she is now the architect now that's uh, uh, building that, and she's going to get uh, the next one up in Piola or Iola? It's not, yeah, I think it's Iola. Iola. Uh, uh, somewhere around Chanute, that area. Yeah. The elementary school that they're going to build, and she's going to be the lead on She'll it. be the lead architect for that one. So, oh, uh, anyway, that's exciting. Yeah. When, you, when your kids reach these milestones, you kind of get proud of them and think, well, must have done something right, or she just did it all on her own without <laughs> any of our help. <laughs> I think she had a little help. Yeah. Well, from you, maybe. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I just wrote the checks. <laughs> oh, there's a... We had a lot of... Mama. Yeah. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> And those calls are at 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning many a times. Yeah. It, it's a tough program. I mean, uh, you literally had no time to do anything else. Yeah. A lot of respect for those kids that go through it. And We're almost up here to Cottonwood Falls. Oh. It's also, there is a uh, kind of a rails to trails uh, area up here that has a trail that goes like a, a hundred miles across Kansas. I kind of wanted us to bring the bikes up and go yeah. down that trail. Yeah. It goes through some little towns yeah. where you can stop and... I don't know I want to ride the bike that far, though. I, I, I don't... I wasn't meaning we'd ride it a hundred. So far, about 20 or 25 miles is as furthest we've gone. Yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking. We could... A short segment of it. Yeah, just do a part of it. No. Oh, I don't think we're quite ready for a 100-mile bike ride. Oh, no. The irony of it is, is we've gone about 20 or 25 on a bike, but we've both run a half marathon, which is thir over 13 miles. And training for it, we've run 14 miles. Yeah. So we've ran almost nonstop without walking or, you know, going down. 
uh, almost as far as we've gone on a bicycle. Yeah, that's true. Although on the bicycle, we stop and get water, so. <laughs> no, we, do. we are not uh, uh, competitive bike riders. We probably oh. are a little bit more competitive with the road. No, no, on the bike, it's just kind of going out and enjoying the, the, the scenery and the day more than anything else. We're not cruisers either. No, no. The, uh, our house backs up to the Red Bud Trail, and uh, well, we have a we put a gate in our fence in the back, so we just literally just I mean it's right there literally in our backyard. And, yeah. Uh, they're they're getting ready to open up more segments of it, and uh, it's been an old railroad track that they've demolished. The, yeah. the, the rails and the ties are no longer there. Nice crushed gravel. Some of it they've concreted, and some of it they got that nice um, old pea gravel, kind of like what crushed, you run crushed, on. Crushed limestone. Crushed limestone, yeah. It's almost like the, the race tracks when you run at school, like running track. Not quite that, uh, you know, it's still a little loose, but it's not like uh, uh, running on big rocks and twist your ankle on or anything. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, Rails to Trails program is great, where they've taken the old railroad track that they've decommissioned and uh, taken them over and made into nice trails. They go through beautiful parts of the country. Because yeah. they're not, you know, they're going through the countryside. Yeah. Well, we're getting close uh, up here to this tall grass area. As you see, this is part of the Flint Hills in Kansas. This is the part everybody talks about that Kansas is flat. Well, this area kind of is. But we're we're flying low today because we're hoping we may be able to see some buffalo out here. Yeah. I'll get my big camera so I can zoom a little better. Supposed to be wild horses up this way too. We've never, we've never seen those. I haven't. Well, there's supposed to be mustangs out here. Wild I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like you. Yeah, I've never seen. We've seen the buffalo out here before. We actually drove out here one time and hiked all along up in here. It was. It was. That was nice. Uh, I mean, it, it looks flat until you're on the ground hiking it, and there, there's a few hills. Well. Disappointed here. I thought we'd run into some buffalo today. I figured the temperature would be nice and they'd be out roaming around. Yeah, all I've seen is uh, some cattle. They have spoken too soon. Oh, you think you see some? Are they cows? Uh, well, they're all black. Can't quite tell. Oh, we were flying right over a tower. It's really high. Yeah. That's 2,017 feet. Yeah. Amelia Earhart Airport. Automated weather observation. One, six, three, six, Zulu. Weather, wind, three, five, zero, at five. Visibility, one, zero. Clear below one two thousand Please temperature one three Celsius two point minus two altimeter three zero zero two. Amelia traffic skyline November eight zero Papa Echo is ten to the southwest inbound for three four full stop Amelia. right there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm looking for the Amelia Earhart head. Yeah, I'm going to circle around here, I think. Be right there off your right. It's there. There's a traffic sky. 471 Sierra Papa. About a five-mile final. Straight in. We're in right 32, Maryville. There's a real sky. 521. Be crossing midfield for left downwind to 36. First mill. Be right below you, babe. Yeah, I just don't see it. Okay, I see the cemetery here. Be right behind you almost. Yep, I just do not see it. Well, it may not just be visible anymore right now. Well, what we were attempting to do... 
fires up. Earthworks. A what now? An earthworks of the Amelia. Okay. It's a profile of it. Lane right in front of us. Oh, I see it. Got it. Yeah. I see it now. Turn, turn north again. Oh, I see it. Yep. Oh, yeah, really good now. Atchison traffic, air tractor 92 Juliet, taking 3 4, depart to the south, Atchison. Atkinson traffic, you uh, on the roll? Uh, affirmative, on the roll. Alright, we're on final. Atchison traffic, 7 6, Hotel Victor, hanging down with leg for runway 4. Landing, baby. Oh, looks like somebody's going to be taking up a little ultralight or something here. Atkinson traffic, November 80, Papa Echo is clear, runway 34. Oh. Oh, that's a radio oh, control yeah. sign. Yeah, there's, those are big ones. All right. Cow flaps open. Out. That wasn't the, the, the best approach, but we were sitting there trying to get that. I know. <laughs> so I was going to say, all of a sudden I looked down and I said, oh, no, you're kind of all off for the landing. But we did see the Amelia Earhart. And art? What do they call that? Yeah. Earthworks. Er Earthworks. Okay. Land art's good, too. Yeah, I thought it was just land art. Kind of excited. We're we're gonna try to go to the Amelia Earhart Museum and a museum, and then try to find a place to eat, and then kind of what's going on. If this was really kind of last minute. We just this morning we're trying to find a place to, to kind of go to today, and so oh, we'll see. I don't know if there's a courtesy car. We're not real sure what we're getting. Into. Yeah, we just kind of do this one blind. Not unusual for Janice. But she always likes to plan everything out to the end of the degree, but... I guess that's the little FBO right there. Or that's that somebody's hanger. I don't know. And FBO on this. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Don't run. Where is it? I'm off. Uh, just, just pull up the airport. We'll just hide down over here and figure it out. I think I finally got it off there. It's my weight there, babe. You're clear. Sorry. I got tie downs. I'm sitting here waiting on you. It's good on the wing. That's a crop duster. All right. Avionics up.